Raise your hand if you have ever felt that your projects and schoolwork were out of control, that you had never turned it in at all. If you have, you might not have used your time effectively. Studies have shown that proper time management can increase the quality of assignments and decrease stress. I understand that as my classmates go into middle school, where there are many assignments with overlapping due dates and heaps of homework, they will get very stressed and will, and will most likely fare poorly in school. That's why I want to give tips and share some examples of how time management can be used effectively and the consequences of using it not effectively. The first time I realized that time management and some of the traps that came with it were affecting my work was in my grade 5 science inquiry project. I thought that the due date was so far away that I shouldn't care about it. I completely forgot about that project, and when the due date rolled around, I was terrified. I thought that there was so little time left, so I basically shut down and didn't end up handing it in. Looking back on it, I had plenty of time from the beginning, and even when I became aware of the close due date, I could have acted and turned it in, and they wouldn't have gone in zero. I have learned my lessons since then, and that's why I'm taking this time to give those people who are struggling with time management some tips and tricks. Here are six effective tips for time management. 1. Tools. To-do lists, priority sheets, and agendas. 2. Goals. Alleviate stress. 3. Breaking down time. Make space for breaks and creating goals. 4. Organization. Organization makes tasks quicker and easier. 5. Breaks. Clears running blocks and stress. 6. Evaluate. Updates tools, goals, and structure of breaks. Regarding tools, during my science inquiry project, I lacked the tools to organize my time. I also didn't take the time to set goals. I also felt very stressed during the last couple of days, so and so I just gave up. Last year, I did an awful job organizing my belongings. It took me 10 minutes to begin a single assignment. By then, the work period was almost over. Breaks were there, but it didn't do anything to calm my anxiety and stress. I didn't even care to evaluate any type of organization, so I failed miserably on my assignment. To express these tips in a positive example, I want to talk about how I successfully managed my time making this same TED Talk. At the beginning, I understood that the deadline would approach quicker than I expected, so I got to work organizing my time and belongings. First, I put the TED Talk on my priority list along with other big projects. Then, I made a goal sheet where I put short-term goals in for each day I would be working on it. I also organized my desk as well as the tabs into folders so I could find them easily. This way, I followed tips 1, 2, and 4 and reduced stress. Um, then later on, I broke in my short-term goals further into small blocks of time where I had different expectations of what to get done in between breaks. That time, I followed tips 3 and 5. Then I evaluated my goals, as you can see, the green and the red, showing what goals I hit and missed. This made it so I could adjust my short-term goals effectively. The result was a TED Talk that I believe is one of my best projects yet. Thank you for listening to my TED Talk, and hopefully you learned something new about time management today. I also hope that you'll implement the same tips that I used to organize my time effectively during this same TED Talk, and so your next project will be an A+. It most likely already is, because you guys are very smart that you'll never have an overdue project again.